Nancy with Yoga Journey 108 and for today I'm going to be using a slightly different tool than what you might have been might have seen me using before. I have one video where I when I first got my little trapeze that I took to the playground and hooked it up there. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different for those of you who are familiar with aerial yoga. This will be an aerial yoga class. No, nothing too fancy so even if you're a beginner you should be able to uh, follow along with this one just fine. Okay, we are going to start in an L pose. So we're going to stand behind the plumb line, feet hip width apart, and we're going to have our hands shoulder width apart, and come into a nice L. So we're going to keep our ears in line with our upper arms. We're going to keep our uh, hips over our heels. We're going to gather our lower ribs in, draw the needle up and in for a nice neutral spine. And then we're going to sway. bigger and maybe we, as we sway we get our knees involved so as we sway to the right the left knee bends and as we sway to the left the right knee bends and back to center soften the knees curl the navel in and up let's roll up to standing let the chest be open and now dive forward once we get into our L, let's gather up the navel and come into a neutral spine. Soften the knees, tuck the tailbone, roll, standing. And as we exhale, lead with the heart, push out with the knuckles. One more. Inhale, curl up at the top of the breath. The shoulders roll back to give space through the chest. And exhale. Okay, we're going to start to... We're going to step out nice and wide, probably off our mats, and start to sway. Bigger sways now. And when we come around to the right, we're going to pivot on the, on the back foot, left foot. We keep reaching away with our hands, come into a lunge. Okay, hug the right hip in. It's going to want to swing out, but we're going to keep it in. On our next exhale, we're going to sweep through the middle, pivot on the feet, come into a lunge this way. We're trying to get a nice long line with our bodies. Am I still in frame? <laughs> Sorry. I'm not used to filming with this one. And I apologize if the sound might be a little off. Mm -hmm. Snuggle the left hip in. And let's come back to center. We're going to swing back around to the right side, find our lunge, but then we're going to pick up our body. We're going to keep holding with the left hand and open with the right. So we're going to twist, inhale, and exhale, come back to a, a neutral lunge. Inhale, to twisted lunge, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Let's close, let's sweep it all the way around. Find our lunge, nice and long. Lift our heart. Right hand comes to the bottom of the plumb line and we open and inhale. And exhale, close that book. Inhale, sweep it open. Exhale, reach it forward. More inhale, press down through that right hand to keep the, the chest lifting away from the left thigh. And exhale, sweep it back around. Soften the knees, roll on up to standing. And we're going to bring that fabric right on behind us. And we're going to come to a rib hang. So we'll start with the fabric at the lower part of the ribs and come into a chair and sit. And once you get here, you want your shoulder blades to be holding you up. Okay, so we're not here. <laughs> so start with it low enough so that when you come into your seat, the shoulder blades are actively pressing down and keeping you in the chair. And just kind of sway. The knees kind of sway back and forth with you. And now we're going to sway back and forth so you can roll over the toes as you push forward. <laughs> and let's straighten the legs. Let's lift the hips. Let's come into a nice straight line. Reach up. As we exhale, we're going to take this right hand and we're just going to peel it down. We're going to send the left hip in the opposite direction. Inhale to come up. Exhale, peel, press the right hip to the right. Feel the stretch on the right side body. Inhale. 
Uh, exhale to peel. Inhale to center. Exhale. And inhale on up. Reach long. And exhale. We're back to chair. Let's lift the right leg, cross it over the left, come into a, a bit of a pigeon. Feel a little, a little bit of juiciness around the outside of the right, right hip. And on our next exhale, we're going to set the right foot down, square, stack the hips, press the right, the left heel toward the top of the mat, right toes point out to the side. Sink the left hip. We're looking for a left hip, some sensation over the outer part, the, the hip bone. Flex through that left foot even more. One more breath here. And as we exhale, we're going to turn all the way around and face the back of the room. Get set up in a lunge, facing backwards. Arms come out to the side, and as we exhale, we're going to let the fabric open us up over the right leg into a twist. Press back strongly with the left heel. Look back at your right thumb, press down through the armpits. Let's take hold of the fabric and let the fabric bring us back to the front. And we'll reach up long, do a nice big stretch. I'm just going to sway the hips from side to side without peeling the hands. Come back to center, palms together. We'll let the head release. Let the fingertips get heavy. Let the elbows stay more or less in line with the shoulders. Release the head if that feels good. Tuck the chin, take hold of your fabric, come back into your chair, and we'll take the left, cross it over. And try to keep the hips nice and level. The, the left hip will want to dip, but we want to keep everything level. Option, you can bring your, your hands behind the fabric and give it a little push. It gives some space for the armpits. And settle the fingernails on the forehead if that feels good. That helps guide in our chin. I've done any of my yoga classes, you know that often trying to guard against the chin jut. Hmm. All right, let's take hold of the fabric and straighten the leg and step the left foot about halfway back, halfway down the mat. Flex strongly through the right heel, stack the hips. If the left hip comes a little bit forward of the right hip, all the better. We don't want to, we don't want to be slacking back. We want, to, we want to get that roll. And now drop the right hip nice and strongly. And we're going to pivot all the way to the back of the room. Okay. Set yourself up in a lunge. And we want our shoulders above the hips. We want to press out strongly through the right heel. Everything's nice and square. And on an exhale, we're letting the fabric twist us to the left. And keep active through the armpits to keep us from collapsing into our lunge. You can even take this right hand on the outside of the left knee and give yourself a little nudge. Look at your left thumb. And breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale here. Take hold of the fabric. Curl the knees up toward the chest so we can swing on back. Straighten the legs, give our armpits a break, reach back with the hands, palms together, bend at the elbows, release the head, lift the hips. And let's bring our neck up to our chin up first, hold on to the fabric, slide on into a hang. We're going to take both these feet and we're going to hook them over the right pole. Okay, so uh, we're gonna coming in, we're coming into a side hang. So our bum is our counterweight. So don't let our bum follow. So we're gonna take, let me take a little few hops, hop, and hook the right leg, hook the left leg. Yep, bum hanging. <laughs> we want the left pole to be under the left armpit and across the upper part of the back. Okay? That gives us lots of extra counterweight. We can interlace the fingers and we can start to. 
get a bit of a mudra. You can feel out where your head wants to hang, right ear close to the right shoulder. You can hold up high. Okay, we're gonna, here's the tricky part. We're gonna get this right foot down while keeping the left foot in. So let's reach underneath the right leg to hold onto the pole and slide that right foot out. Keep the left knee there. And we're gonna stand up. So now we're kinda of angled toward, uh, toward the right. So let's hold nice and high and come into a lunge. So we're still opening our, our bodies toward the left. So we're getting a bit of a lunge twist here. back and you can look back. And let's sink back on that heel, sink the weight back into the fabric. We're going to switch. So once we get kind of back into our seat, we can take our hand underneath the, le the left leg and we're going to switch sides. If that didn't work, <laughs> so sometimes it's a little bit uncomfortable to slide along the lower rib cage. Just come down and hop yourself back up. Come into the side hang on the other side. Again, you can hold up nice and high. Let the other, the left hand hang loose. Let your left ear hang toward the left shoulder. You can also interlace the fingers. Make sure that the shoulders are on the outside of the fabric. Holding nice and high. Let's bring the, let's straighten up the right leg. So we can hold underneath the, the left knee and free up that left leg. Bring the right knee back. Bring yourself up to stand. Okay. Again, we're angled now toward the left. And so we're gonna lunge toward that, that angle. Okay. And maybe we reach back with the right hand. And maybe we look back at it. Okay. That feels pretty good. Come up on the toes of the left foot. back, give your weight back to the fabric, slither on down, give your weight to the fabric, hold on underneath the right knee, straighten ourselves up, and come on down. We'll take a walk, 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 until our hips come under, come over our heels, and come into a safety pose. This is called marionette. This is kind of like the aerial version of child's pose, so it's a nice decompression space. It's so just like with child's pose, figure out what your body wants to do with what it just did. Like, does it want to move a little bit, wiggle, get any wiggles out? Does it want to sway back and forth? Sway side to side, or just remain still and breathe. Okay, inhale here. As we exhale, we're going to slide the, the fabric off our shoulders and into our, into our uh, elbow creases and hang over the legs. Sway here. Knees can be nice and soft. We're encouraging the spill of the hips, spill of the torso out of the hips, and encouraging space across the chest. All right, let's reach our arms up and out of the fabric. Ideally, the fabric swings in front of us so we can roll ourselves up onto standing. Shoulder back and the head's last piece to come up. We're going to come into our hip hang, sometimes known as a belt. Uh, the easiest way to come in is to bring the fabric right under the hip bones. Take a step forward, lean the chest forward, keep the hands pressing the fabric under the hip bones so that when we come to hang, we're going to hang in the hip creases. If this is relatively new for you, hanging in the hip creases creates a lot of pressure. Don't worry, your body gets used to it and pretty quickly, pretty quickly. It only took a few, a few uh, sessions before I was okay to hang here with the fabric in my hip creases. A nice uh, alleviation of the pressure would be a blanket draped over the fabric. Okay, so settle here, just kind of get used to 
hanging. I'm a little low, so my head's on the ground already. Uh, ideally, it would, that would not be the case. Let's get used to being upside down, play around, feel how the fabric holds you. And let's all together, let's bring our feet together, toes toward the ground. Interlace the fingers, reach the knuckles up to the sky. And let's pull the knuckles away from the body. Keep the shoulder blades coming together. Keep the space across the chest. Inhale here. As we exhale, we're going to bend the right knee in toward the nose. Inhale, straight legs. Exhale, bend the left knee into the nose. Inhale. Exhale, bend the right knee in. Inhale, straight legs. And exhale, bend the left knee. And nice and straight. Let's bring the hands to the sacrum. Let's melt the hands to the ground. Let's walk the hands to the top of the mat. My hands are probably gonna get out of frame. So my hands are like downward dog hands, nice and, and wide like starfish with the middle fingers pointing straight ahead. Once I get my upper body nice and long, I'm gonna separate my feet and reach them to the sky. I'm a flying downward dog. I'm make some circles with my ankles. Get long through the body. And then exhale, let's bring the toes back down toward the ground. So this is almost exactly like a downward dog, except the toes are floating, just floating. Okay, let's reach the right leg straight up and back. Three-legged downward dog, reach the left toes down. Inhale here as we exhale, we'll switch. Right toes reach for the ground, left toes reach for the sky. Exhale to transition. Inhale to stretch. Exhale, switch. Keeping the upper body long and the chest melting. Okay, once we get the right leg down and the left leg up, we're gonna take this left leg and wrap it around the outside of the, fat, of the left pole. Okay, so we're gonna keep, we can keep it like this, but if we feel comfortable, we're gonna straighten that leg. Now what's gonna happen is the fabric's gonna come off the left hip which means the right hip crease is the only thing that's holding you in right now. So if you're comfortable with that, stay here. If not, come back, come back to here. Okay. And if you're comfortable with that, you're gonna release your hands and reach for the right leg, coming into standing splits. So pulling the leg in toward the body. Right leg coming, the right thigh coming in toward the chest, shoulders pulling up toward the hips. If you feel comfortable here, take the outside of the left leg, right leg, sorry, outside of the right foot, and sweep the right arm open. So we're here in a standing splits twist. Okay, my friends in the twist, come back to center. Let's walk your hands back up to the top of the mat. Let's let the left foot come down and meet the right foot and sway the toes from side to side. When you're ready, we'll take that right foot and hook the fabric, hook around the outside of the fabric. Feels good, stay here. If you're comfortable sliding that fabric off your right hip, then go ahead and straighten the leg. And if that feels comfortable, release the hands and bring your bring that leg, pull that leg closer in toward the chest. Let's keep the right foot flexed. Once you feel settled here, maybe you take the right hand to the outside of the left foot and left hand reaches into our twist. Hi. <laughs> All right, if you're in the twist, come back to center, pull the leg in and then release the hands. Let's walk the hands back up to the top of the mat. Right foot down to meet the left. Sway the toes from side to side. And we'll separate the feet. Lift the feet up toward the sky. And if that feels good, we're gonna take a walk backwards. So take a step back with your hands and then push the arms straight again. Chest still reaching for the back of the room. That feels good. Take another little step with your hands. Push it back. The closer we are to the plumb line, the more strength 
we need to hold ourselves up, the more shoulder strength we need. Okay, if you feel comfortable here, maybe the feet can, the knees can bend and the toes can come together in front of the fabric. straight. Let's take a walk back to the top of the mat. And melt and drop the feet toward the ground. Okay, we're going to come up. We're going to plank it a bit. So separate the feet mat width apart. Reach up. Thumbs pointing down. Lift the heart. And we're going to do a little transition here. We're going to reach up Oh, we're going to reach up, we're going to flip our hands on our left hand, on our left hand, so thumb points up. We're going to look to our left, release the right hand. We're going to bring the left leg through, grab the opposite uh, pole, and come up to stand with our leg wrapped in the fabric. Right leg. So push it down to the knee. Hold the fabric nice and high, and come into a lunge. Come up on the back toe, sink the hips, try to square them up. Look up toward the sky. Inhale. And exhale, come on up. Slide the fabric down to the ankle. Now we're going to hold on with the left uh, hand, both poles with the left hand, shoulder height, and Windmill the right arm out so forward and that for a standing twist. And exhale back around. We're gonna bring that foot around to the back, bend the knee toward the ground, and as we come in, we are we have our right foot in back. We did a lot of quad work the other day, so let's reach up in the inside of the fabric. And we're going to set the hips back and start to kick the right foot back. Now pull the right hip down so it's level with the left hip. Enjoy the quadricep stretch. And exhale back to neutral. We're going to lift up nice and high. Let's bring our shoulders behind the fabric. As we, we're going to pull ourselves up and bring the left foot right next to the right foot. Okay, so we're kneeling in the fabric. Okay. Fabric's over the ankles, front of the ankles. And we sit here. Hmm. And if you want to play around a little bit, you can lean back, slide down, look behind you. nice and high and we're just going to kick our feet forward so we're standing behind the fabric coming back into a hip hang so that we can roll out just like before and this time do our left leg so starting with a nice big flying downward dog feet nice and wide body nice and long then on my exhale drop the toes and keep the feet about mat width apart reach up with the thumbs pointed down to lift the heart. Here we are floating, flying. Okay, this time we're going to flip the right hand. Okay. And we're going to release the left hand. We're going to start to slide around. The right foot wants to come toward the center. So we can actually hook the right foot and pull ourselves around so that we come up to stand with the fabric around our left knee. Okay, stand up nice and straight. Square up the hips. Lean forward. Come up on the back toe. Use the fabric to pull the chest up toward the sky. Keep that standing leg nice and straight and strong. Press into the ball of the big toe. And 
we exhale back to standing, we pull the fabric down to the ankle, gather it up into our right hand at shoulder height, and open through the left arm. Coming into a twist. A lot of springtime yoga practices focuses, focus on the twist, because the twist moves the lymph around. And we have, we have our bloodstream that gets a nice pump with our heart. But we have other fluids in our body that don't get that pretty much remains stagnant if our, if our bodies are not stagnant. So a lot of what twists do is start to move that, some of those fluids around. All right, we exhale back to center. We're gonna bring the fabric around behind us. So as it comes around, the knee goes down and we're gonna reach ahead and hop in front of the hammock. Let's reach up with our shoulders behind, or yeah, reach on up and sit back into the, into the hips. That lovely quad, the hip flexor stretch. Oof. One of my favorite things to do with in the hammock is get some good quad stretches. So pull that left hip down, draw the navel up and in, pubic bone toward the chin. Get longer, longer, longer through this space. Kick out with that left foot as much as you can. And we'll pull ourselves on up. Shoulders come behind the fabric as we hop and put our left foot, our right foot in. So we're back to kneeling. Shake out the hands, hang out here. Maybe we can play around by leaning back, or if you want a little bit more intensity, reach up nice and high. Shoulders come ahead of the fabric, we're gonna kick our feet back. Nice shoulder stretch, nice stretch through the front body. Don't forget to breathe. And let's come on in, snuggle the hips back behind, back to the back of the fabric. And to come out again, we're gonna do a little hop. So we're just gonna kick the fabric forward. And here we are. Shake out the hands. Okay, we're gonna to come to our second inversion, which is the back straddle or straddle back, depending on what website you're using. Now what we want to do is bring the fabric across the sacrum. Uh, in a lot of acrobatics, we bring it in the waist. We don't want it in the waist for yoga because we want our entire spine to be released. So having it on the bone of the sacrum allows us to get a full release through the spine. And <laughs> that's another reason why you want to be a little bit higher so that you can get long through your neck while you're down here. Right now my, my head is resting on the floor. So settle here. If you're not used to going upside down, this might feel a little uncomfortable, but trust me, after a while your body goes, oh, please get me upside down again. And so just you can relax the arms. Make sure you're not pushing into the ground at all. Just let the hands be soft. Mm, let the shoulders relax. We'll, we'll work up. We'll be pulling them up again later. <sighs> Breathe all the way up to the pubic bone. Really pulling your diaphragm against gravity. As you're ready, we're going to hook that right toe. And we're going to extend the right leg. Keep the right toes flexed. Ideally, we want to move those toes around so that they're pointing toward, they're pointing straight ahead. Okay. Now with this left leg, we're going to reach it out to the side. Maybe we just we could just hang out here, or we just let gravity work on things. So just kind of release, release, release. Get heavy through that leg. Maybe we can help gravity a little bit by pulling with our left arm. Maybe we get to the calf. Maybe we get to the toes. Let me soft with this right hand. And we'll release that foot. The foot's going to come in front of the fabric and we're going to snuggle it into like a tree pose. But we're not going to stay in tree. We're going to take the right arm and crawl it behind us and to the left. So what we're doing is we're trying to lengthen out as much as we can through the right side body. So bring it to the back corner, back left corner of the mat. Okay, if you want to play around with the left hand, you can sneak it around and just rest on the right uh, hip. Then breathe yourself longer. And release. 
And let's come back to back to our butterfly or frog. And relax here. So just just check things out. If, if this feels a little intense, you can give it a little shake, release. Just make sure it comes back in front of the fabric. Hmm. Give a little sway before we start on the other side. So hook the left foot and straighten the leg. So we want the foot to come, the toes to come around and point toward the mirror. Yes, I don't know put mirror toward the front. I, have a, I do actually have a closet that's mirrored. Okay, and then we're gonna let the right leg come out to the side and just get heavy, 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 heavy. Okay, maybe we help gravity. Maybe we get the toe and settle back. We breathe into all those spaces that have that have sensation. And release. We're going to snuggle that foot into the left thigh. And then we're going to crawl the left hand behind us back to the back right corner. We're kind of coming in a diagonal and making more space on the left side body. If we're feeling it, we can scoot the right fingers around toward the left hip. Notice the expansion on the left side body and you notice the contraction on the right. And we release. And we bring both feet together and let's crawl our hands to the back of the mat. We'll let our chest mount toward the front and sway the hips. If you want to sway the hips with wide legs, you can do that too. If it, com if it feels comfy. When you do come back, let's make sure the feet are in front of the poles. And melt on back. Now, everybody does this one, and there's a good reason, because it's one of the most accessible quad stretches you can get being upside down. So let's bring the left leg out to the side. Oh, your fingers can be on the ground. And then bring the, disappear the leg behind you. Okay. Ideally, we, want, we, want, we don't want to see the foot. We want it to be completely behind us, hidden by our torso. Once it's there, maybe we can reach back with our right hand. <laughs> and we start to twist toward the right. The left hand can come toward the front of the mat. Okay, if it feels good, kick into the right hand with the left foot. And just feel the delicious opening in the quad. Let's release the foot. Let's square up the body, soft hands on the ground. The left leg goes out nice and wide, comes back in. Right leg goes out. And we're gonna keep it heavy, dip it behind us. Try to disappear it as much as possible. Let gravity just make it heavy, 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 heavy. And then we're gonna start to look over our left shoulder, reach back with our left hand. If it gets the foot great, if not, that's okay. Just reach for it, move the right hand soft at the front of the mat. Kick into the left hand if that feels good. Look back at the toes if that works for your neck. Exhale, release the foot. Let's square up the body first. Bring the leg around and come on in. Let's take a breath here. Third breath out. Pull our shoulders away from the ground. Pull our diaphragm strong. We'll tuck the chin, we'll find our poles. We'll bring ourselves on up to tuck. Hang out here for a minute. If you're feeling spunky, maybe you can L your legs and exhale back, knees, knees toward the nose. Inhale, L, exhale in, inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale. And we have two choices. We can either just step down and come into our marionette, or if we want to play a little bit, we're going to slide down our poles. And our legs are going to come on over. Get our lower 
down. Either way, we're coming into marionette facing the back. So the fabric has our shoulders. We sway. We stay still. We find our breath. But it's always good after being upside down for a while to come to this halfway space before popping our heads up. Okay, so let's uh, soften our knees, roll on up to standing. Ah, and we're behind our fabric. So again, take a couple moments to get equilibrium. If you want, you can gather the fabric, settle your forehead on your knuckles. Let's make sure you're not leaning into the fabric though. We're standing up in mountain pose and we're bringing our knuckles to the forehead. All right, we are in the perfect position to come into our fabric. So let's take the back edge and fan it out. Two ways to get into this. You can either turn away, grab about five handfuls, press down, slide your bone in, or if you want to do the roll in, you're going to take the back edge of the fabric and you're going to bring it over your shoulders. Yeah. It'll be easier if you saw from this side. There we come. Put the fabric over our shoulders. And then we're going to bow forward with our elbows inside the fabric, come under the plumb line. Okay, you can, either, you can keep your hands close to your shoulders, press into your knuckles as you pop and let yourself in. So now I can't do my, uh, I'm going to do it the other way. So I'll show you that one again. From the back, okay, over the shoulders, bow forward. Your hands can reach up and you're going to hop. And lower yourself in. Okay, let's keep the fabric uh, around the shoulders and free up the head. Make sure there's not too much fabric gathered at the at the neck or it gets a little bit uh, crunchy. Okay, thumbs. Like, yay, thumbs up. Press them into the fabric. Okay, take your fingers, curl them around the outside, and then twist. Shoulders nice and occupied. We're going to come up into a uh, shoulder stand. So let's pike first, outer feet pressing into the poles, and we're going to pull our hips up over our shoulders. Now if you're not used to doing this, I recommend coming from plow. So plow is getting some fabric over your feet, keeping the pike all the way over into our plow, and if you feel, and the feet are actually being caught by the fabric and from there, pulling up into shoulder stand. But for the rest of you, if you feel comfortable, just pull on up to shoulder stand. And if you're feeling particularly free, you can drop the right leg forward. Keep the hips reaching up. And left. Drop the left leg forward. And left. Drop the right leg forward. Drop the left leg out to the side, but keep the hips up so we're not collapsing down. Hips are, hips are lifted, torso strong. And lift. And left leg drops. Right leg up to the side behind the fabric. And lift. And when you're ready to come down, you go, oh yeah, just for a, take a couple of breaths, just hanging out. And when you are ready to come down, chances are the fabric probably moved, so you might need to kind of kick it out a little bit to settle in. And cradle the head. Let's give ourselves a nice big stretch, point the toes, reach the fingers out. Fingertips come together and let's make a few crescent moons with our body. Swaying from side to side, moving the hips from side to side. Slow or as fast as you like. And then just come into center. And we're coming into Shavasana. Now, if settling in the fabric, you know, most people love settling in the fabric, but sometimes people are a little bit, uh, feel a little bit seasick, you can take Shavasana on the mat. One thing I like to do is 
palms together, just let the fingertips drip down toward the ground. Let the upper arms sandwich your ears. A few big belly breaths. And sigh it out. You know, you can stay here for as long as you'd like. Letting yourself sway in the fabric. Soften through the bum, soft through the feet. So let's take three smooth inhales and exhales here. If you want to hang out longer, you could just let the video run out, or if you're within distance, you can push pause. the end of your third breath, you can start wiggling again. Giving yourself a stretch, lifting the hips to get nice and long. Releasing the exhale, taking a few more side bends. And when you're ready to come up, you're going to kick your feet out so that the, the toes dangle. Just hang out here for a moment. And when you're ready, you're going to pull yourself on up to sitting. Here, I'll face you. So I don't get to see my back through the whole thing. So once you get on up, you can bring your arms inside the fabric, hands to heart center. Let's check in. Like any other yoga practice, I like to seal it with an ohm. So let's take a nice big inhale. Long, slow exhale through the mouth. And the out. Inhale to be in. for the spirit of life flows around us and through us and plays within us. Namaste. Thank you everybody for joining me in this, this particular aerial journey. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the, in the comment section down below. If you'd like more like this, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I usually, most of my, most of my videos are mat based. I thought it might be fun to, to mix things up a little bit with some aerial. Uh, so, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day, rest of your week, and again, thank you.